The Seahawks return home from Lambeau Field with a loss, but still some positives to take away from the game. What's going on? Jackie Montgomery with your Seahawks Daily. Well, the Seahawks 17 to nothing loss was the first shutout since the 2011 season. Pete Carroll met with the team for Tell the Truth Monday and then met with the media to break down the good and the bad. We're real frustrated the way it came out. You know, we had intended to get uh, get some stuff going. It didn't work out for us. You know, we just couldn't get couldn't get a rhythm again. And uh, these guys played really good again on defense and they gave us a hard time. Um, but we're disappointed and, you know, we go back to every play, you know, we're looking at every play that could have gone the other way, uh, completions or runs and, and uh, we're just, just frustrated we're not finding the rhythm that we need to find. The team couldn't get in a rhythm and couldn't get the run game going. Out of the 59 offensive plays, only 11 of them were carries by a running back. I didn't like we didn't get the ball run more, you know. It's not, in a close game like that, I, I just would have expected that we would run the ball, uh, you know, well more more than we did running backs carried the ball 11 times that's not enough it's not enough to get any rhythm it's not enough to get to get the feel for the game and, and it took us uh, we got you know so few plays in the first half in particular it, we just never never got going well let's touch on the positives and the stellar play of the defense for most of the game rookie Trey Brown played a hundred percent of the defensive snaps for the first time in his NFL career he doesn't have a lot of flashy stats just one pass defense but still a great showing nonetheless he played really well, and the, the opportunities that he got, he uh, he really came through and made made good plays. Had a really good play on the deep ball, had a, a couple good you know challenges. Uh, he's playing really good technique wise. His footwork is really good on the deep ball that he played. It was like a perfect play. He's he's coming through, so um, he's earning himself a spot. Sticking with the secondary, the group as a whole played fantastic. First team All-Pro wide receiver Devontae Adams recorded only 78 yards. Jamal Adams had one of his best games of the season, recording his first interception in a Seahawks uniform. Yeah, they're really on it. They're really uh, showing up in the games on all kinds of plays. The downfield throws, the hits in the alley. Um, you, you see, uh, I thought you saw really good pressure yesterday from Jamal. Uh, his edge play is really good. Um, making plays in the backfield. I mean, those two guys are just really good ball players. Um, it was great to see Jamal get a pick. You know, he needs, he needs to kind of break the seal on that one and get going. Um, so I, I think our guys are playing as good as anybody. And, and everybody would love to have guys like, that, like hers playing. They're, they're, they're volatile, productive, you know, running and hitting guys. I'm, I'm really excited about them. Coach Carroll also gave a quick injury update on the players who left the game yesterday. Cornerback Ryan Neal is in concussion protocol and Dwayne Brown who left the game with a hip strain. Coach Carroll said that the initial reports are positive.